Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Deb Chanel's 48 World, where we do news, shopping news, entertainment news, just out the gay news, whatever kind of thing of news I want to bring to y'all here. Today, we're going to be talking about Mrs. Kenya Moore Daily, or Moore, or Daily Moore, however she wants to put it. We get it straight from the Celebrity Insider. It reads, Kenya Moore gets mom shamed and kicked out of restaurant with baby Brooklyn. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star shares embarrassing incident. Written by D uh, Dylan Fisher. Okay, we go on to read. Mrs. Kenya Moore is learning all the rules as she goes along, and she recently discovered that not everyone is kind towards new moms. The Real Housewives of Atlanta alum confessed via social media that she was recently kicked out of a restaurant with her baby girl, Brooklyn Daly, because she attempted to change a diaper. Mark's Daly wife said she was humiliated for not knowing the do's and don'ts on the matter. However, Kenya was quick to get back to and on her feet and found an app to help her and her other moms slash fathers to avoid similar embarrassing situations. The businesswoman explained, last week when I was traveling with Brooklyn, I got kicked out of a restaurant for changing her diaper. OMG, I was so embarrassed. I had no idea about these rules. As a new mama, I'm learning new things every day. The At Peanut app has been amazing support for me, or an amazing support for me, to connect with other new moms that can give me heads up, advice, and a sense of community. The app introduces you to women in your neighborhood based on the things you have in common, interests, mutual friends, age, gender of your children, and so much more. I used At Peanut to ask how to find a good nanny. How old Brooklyn has to be to start eating food? Is this a rash or eczema? And where else can I change her diaper? LOL. Go check it out and create a profile. The app is a must-have for mamas and mamas-to-be. Hashtag peanut app. All right. Then it goes on to say, many fans reached out to Kenya to show support after the minor incident. One person said, cute baby. Sorry, sorry for that, Kenya. You are a great mom. I have never heard of such a thing that's horrible. People are always trying to criticize somebody and ready to criticize somebody. Look in the mirror at yourself. Love you, Kenya. Okay. Another supporter stated, Kenya, you have a light that shines from you like never before. God has blessed you. Stress will come, but never forget what God has done for you. I'm so happy to see you and your family. So happy. Not on the restaurant seat. I wouldn't want to see that. Why didn't you go to the restroom? Was that not allowed? I've done this and I'm not ashamed. Some restaurants do not have changing tables available. Also, there are not changing tables in the men's restaurant. So what is my husband supposed to do when he's out with the kids? Restaurants need to get with it because it's 2019 and people bring their babies with them. Ooh, that's what she said. Okay. And that was it pretty much for that article that was written on the famous most fabulous Kenya Moore Daily. Okay, one thing I want to say is Kenya, you have been hilarious. You have been so funny, so entertaining, so adorable, beautiful woman. Definitely done secured the bag as far as cash flow. Definitely married a handsome man, young man, might I add. Okay, very robust. And you have a, or you both have a beautiful daughter. Oh, priceless. Okay, you have it all and then some. Now, what I don't understand is why can't we get every last Real Housewives of Atlanta from the start to where we are now to come on the show? Even if we have to cut y'all salaries a little bit. But I would just like to see all of y'all just, you know, what do you call it, uh, retreat to a place and just show us what you got. Because what we got going on Real Housewives of Atlanta is just true, true boredom. Okay. You, Kim, Portia, Phaedra, Kendra, uh, Kenya, I'm sorry. Um, God, I can't, Cynthia and the, uh, Deshaun Snow, uh, Peace Sweat, um, 
baby's mama. Damn, I can't think of her name. Uh, excuse me for that cousin. Y'all know who I'm talking about, Lisa. I can't think. Of, I think her name is Lisa, though. I can't think of all of it. But just have a, a whole barrage, y'all. Just come back and be on one season, and we just seeing clips of everybody, and then we see a clips with everybody taking this uh trip. I don't know. Hell, y'all can go just to Mexico or Florida. I don't care. But just have y'all all in the scenes, because I mean, all of y'all brought true pleasure uh to me that I gotten you know uh, a world of respect for you. And and just getting on this reality show, binge of the thing, and and just I don't know acting crazy or out your character, but y'all just getting it to secure the bag, get that green bag, get that money stack, you know, to have a I guess a prosperous life. So I'm not even beefing on that part. Do you get yours, however, if you good with it, it looks good to Christ and, and how y'all got it going on, do you? You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to even partake into none of that. I would just like to see all y'all, though, because <sighs> I don't really pay attention to much of the Real Housewives of Atlanta now, pretty much anything. But like I say, sometimes I like to get on the tube, and I miss being on the tube, talking with you all and, and there. Uh, but if I would ring myself back in, to just go over this little article, I was like, "Can you now come on now, come on, girl? You now you know, just as a woman, if you sitting up there with the man or just company, say, and you're eating at a restaurant, the ambiance is nice, the mood is sick, and then you have to look over to the left or to the right and see a mother changing a dirty diaper that smells. Now you know that ain't right, Kate. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. You know that ain't right." And you are too savvy of a woman to not know this. So I'm not even going to say, Kenya, you wrong. You know what I'm saying? Even though you wrong, Kenya. But I'm not even going to go, you know, past that point. I'm just like, hey, you know when baby girl got to come and, and do her thing or whatnot, you have to bring those folding, get it in your diaper bag. They have like a folding um, pad that you can lay on the ca um, counter in the bathroom, you know, and then you just sanitize it when you get home or you bring your sanitizer and little sprays and do it before you put it back in the baby bag. But you know, you are supposed to, whether they got to change the table or not, which every restaurant to me in the mail, just like that lady was saying in the article and even in the mail stalls, they should have because men do go with their children. And, you know, some are infants uh, size and they have to go change that diaper and stuff. And sometimes it ain't just pee pee. We getting it. We getting a number two. And sometimes it can be a little texture challenge, if you know what I mean, from the running side to the hard side, you know. But either way, we need to invest in those baby bags. And they're very trendy these days. Go on and get that diaper changing pad. You know what it is and use it and come on back out if you must bring baby girl with you when y'all are dining. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, Kim, it's not a big deal. You know, you got shame for it and, and rightly you should have. But, you know, you're a new mom. You were, I guess, trying to test the climate or whatnot or trying to use some clout same clout to think you want to get away with. I, I don't know what you were thinking, but if I was a part of your entourage or in your party at that time you were dining, I would have gave you a slap uh, on your butt cheeks or on your, your arm or something too. Like, now, come on now. Come on. Okay, with babies, it's not always educational where you have to go pull out a book and tell you what it what to do in certain situations. It's called common sense, okay? And I know my Kenya, she's too fabulous and fashionable to not have it down to earth. And I'm good. I'm great with it. I'm cool with it because that's still my girl. All of them became my girls. I don't have a new leaf. I don't even get on candy no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do some stuff on her too because I'm proud of her. I never was not proud of them, even when I used to do videos where I'd be like, not really necessarily shaming them because I didn't want to get too involved. But, you know, I was calling them stupid and carrying on this and that. And I had to reflect. Yes, I did. I had to go back and reflect and say, well, you know, these women, they're intelligent. They just get money the way they see they want to get money. And that's just the bottom line, how people are doing out in these days here and now. So, you know, if I ever said anything mean, harsh, or, you know, indifferent to anybody that I'm covering, I'm sorry, I am. But, um, nevertheless, I will say whether there's a foul on the play, 
that's preceding in an article or not. And that's just what it is. It's a file. You know, with this all we're going to say, slap on the hand, get it, do better next time. Now, come on now, because you're too fabulous and fit and flawless to be acting un uncouth out there. Okay? So that's my story on the fabulous Kenya Moore and her. Woo, ricochet looking good baby girl that can be put on Gerber. Gerber magazine. You know what I'm saying? Hey. And you should be looking up that while she's trying to shout out a peanut app um, application. Maybe they're paying her for it. I don't know. Get your coin where you can get it. Can you get your coin wherever you can get it, girl? But love you. Love the look. The family look looks good on you. Keep doing you. Breed more babies because you do it well. You know what I'm saying? Keep loving on Brooklyn and keep loving on that mug. And y'all keep doing the darn thing. But that was my coverage from Celebrity Insider on Miss Kenya Moore getting shamed. Shamed. Okay, out in the public trying to change baby girl diaper. Kenya. Love you, girl. Take care. Blessings to you all.